low-key I was kind of lacking in the single uh, wig department anyways. Hello everyone, welcome to this special video. Today I'm gonna be showing you my Bath & Body Works MOS haul. You might be wondering what MOS is. Basically MOS just stands for merchandise out of stock. It just means that all these products here uh, you can no longer buy in the store as a regular customer. There are a few reasons why a product might be MOS. One is the product just got new packaging. Two, the product is just out of season. Number three, the product just wasn't really one that was meant to be bought in the first place. But essentially, as a Bath & Body Works employee, after we do inventory, um, some items get marked as box up and other ones get marked up as MOS. If it's box up, it means that it's supposed to either stay in the store until it can be put out on the sales floor again, or when it's MOS, it means it gets put in the bin. And then us as employees are able to buy one bag for five dollars. I think it happens about twice a year. This is, I think this is technically, what have been my fourth, but technically third, because I didn't participate in the one last year because my because my bag got thrown away long ass story don't want to talk about it but yeah so everything i got here i got basically for just 10 bucks let's just get into it one thing i bought for not myself it was my sister was this berry waffle cone body spray i do not like the scent myself but my sister loves 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 the scent um another thing i bought is this it's in the stars soap and to match her sister, I also got uh, End of the Night soap. These soaps normally only come out either during winter time, and so I'm glad that I got these because they're both really good scents. These would make really good gifts if you end up getting someone the body care of these. And my last non-candle <laughs> related item is another soap just called Fresh Strawberry Tart. Nice summery soap. Now, let's get into the bulk of the products that I got are candles. Everything else in this video is going to be candle. MOS kind of changes from time to time. Sometimes you have more body care items, sometimes you have more home care items. This round was definitely a lot more home care. Let's start with the single wicks. This one is Sweet Whiskey. Love this one because Sweet Whiskey never came in a candle. You might be wondering, well then what's this? It's a candle. Um, so this is an example of an item never meant to be sold. A lot of my single wicks that I bought are what we have are considered tester candles. These are candles that are sent in a pack of either six or three and they're normally meant for wallflowers. So you kind of just know how the wallflower smells. These are candles that the general public aren't allowed to buy. Sometimes they are accidentally bought though, which is why they do send us a pack pack of a few of them just in case of one of them gets sold. Oh, this one. Oh, love this one. This one is Market Peach and Strawberry Pound Cake. One of the blend candles that we had for Sass. Oh, I'm so glad. This one is Salted Butterscotch and Vanilla. Now, I know that we have Salted Butterscotch in a three wick candle, but we don't have Salted Butterscotch and Vanilla. I don't know why. The vanilla note in that just makes it smell so much better. Take a little game pulling some candles out. This is pineapple, mango, and fresh balsam. Another blend candle. Honestly, I wasn't like a huge fan of it. But like it's very Christmassy, but also like kind of clean. Definitely great. And you can see on some of them, they do have marked for the Try Me sticker on it to show it was a Try Me candle. This one is a oh, pumpkin spice latte. My God, I love this candle. Mm. Pumpkin snickerdoodle. I find this hilarious because I literally just bought a pumpkin snickerdoodle in a single wick because it was an online exclusive and then we just had MOS and I found this. I'm like, oh perfect, now I have two. That's for that first bag. Moving on to the next bag, I have this ooh, cinnamon spice vanilla in Paris Cafe. Another blend candle, honestly. Probably my second favorite blend candle that we had during SAS. Here we have another candle that was in body care called Fairy Tale. Now, I do know that Fairy Tale did have a candle when it was first launched, but it no longer does, so I'm happy I got this. Moving on to bag number three, we got cereal and cartoons. It reminds me of like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's very yummy, very sugary. I got another, uh, uh, Pineapple, mango, and fresh balsam. Okay, and then uh, another body care candle, Midsummer Dream. This one, 
I remember it launched, I want to say, a year ago, like in the summer of 2021. And then it got put on SAS, and then it came back for a few months to just to be put back on SAS. Um, I'm not sure if that one ever had a candle when it first launched, but I have it in a single bit. Here is Champagne Apple and Honey. I really do like this scent. And this is like one of the only apple scents I really do like from Bath. Another Market Peach and Strawberry Pound Cake. Honestly, no cap, no lie. I did my first round of MRS, which included the soaps and um, some of the candles. I ended up only getting one Market Peach and Strawberry Pound Cake candle. And I really wanted the other one because there was two in there. And so I literally did another round of MOS, paid another $5 to get another bag. And I, I was looking for that candle. I'm so glad no one took it because essentially the way that we do it is that everyone goes their own once through the MOS and then you have to wait until everyone has their fair chance of going around at least once before it can go again. I'm so glad it was not gone. Ah! This one is Pink Prosecco Frosting. Okay, not a bad set, but I'm gonna be honest, this was just one of the last scents I came through in my vlog. I might give it to someone. Next one we have is Lakeside Morning. Um, Lakeside Morning. Loki, I don't even know if it's like a new scent. It's just a very, very clean scent. Another clean candle, Laundry Day. Literally, it smells just like Titans or Dean Fleens, whatever you use, very clean. One of my favorite scents from Bath, Sweet Whiskey. I don't know if I already talked about this one. I got a few duplicates in here, but one of my favorite scents from Bath right now, um, you can find it in store, it just launched. Sweet Whiskey. Ugh. It's very, it has the vanilla, that warmness in it. And then my last bag here, Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. Now, I was very debating to get this candle. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of icky at the bottom. I don't know what that's about. Um, looks like some oil spilled on it, but it's like within the inside of the candle, if that makes sense. I'm not really familiar with this scent. I know what Vanilla Boardwalk is, but it does not smell like that at all. It's supposed to smell like apple and caramel and all that stuff. I don't think it smell like that at all. Smoked vanilla. This is just a nice. This one kind of reminds me of my grandma Gloria. Kind of just sophisticated, kind of birchy, you know. Market peach. Now, just like the blend candle of this one, I actually do like it. It smells kind of like a dreamsicle with like that peachiness. Oh, it smells so great. This, <laughs> this one called Country Apple. Low key. I mean, okay, not a bad scent, but I really only got it because one of my old co-workers who oh whole drama don't want to get into it now um said that this was her favorite scent and she keeps looking for this scent and now i'm like well maybe if you would have stayed then maybe you could have gotten it in mos but you didn't so that's mine this one is oh, sunshine mimosa another scent that i'm surprised kind of went away i understand it's like a summery one they said eliminated her, so here she is in my bag. This one, great one for the winter time, Spiced Apple Tati. Um, Loki, I thought I had this in a three wick. I do not, I believe. I at least haven't found it. Uh, I have a lot of candles, if you couldn't believe, so. Because winter is fast approaching, like the Game of Thrones. Oh, this is a really good one. So this one is Black Cherry Merlot. Now you see that this one isn't like all the other ones I've gotten. All the other ones I've gotten are the white label. This one actually has a color label. Now this one was not a tester candle. This one's just a um, old candle. All our single weights got a color change and a rebrand, so these are no longer out on the floor. I don't know what they did. When they redid the white barn color run in both the three wick and the single wick candles, I do feel like they messed up a lot of the scents. Literally, the only scent, in my opinion, that got better was Shari Pound Cake. Um, otherwise, like, my favorite scents, like Midnight Blue Citrus, Black Cherry Merlot, um, all got this gross. So I'm glad I got that one. This one was another candle we had during SAS this year. It's Toasted Pineapple Marshmallow. I'm not sure if we had it in a three wick. I don't remember exactly, but we did have it in the Wallflower. It is kind of a nice summery scent. Um, I do need to expand a little bit more of summer because a lot of the candles that have our winter themed. I only got three single wicks left. This one is Honey Wildflower. This one's very creamy. Low key, I think it was just another candle I had to throw in my second round of MOS. Just a little florally. Maybe one I could give away as a gift. 
this one welcome home um i think this one was actually just an all-in exclusive this year which i'm glad that i got it in a single wick now on cold it's just very like very nutty um um however this one was like one of the first candles my mom actually like gave me gave me as i was leaving for college it was a very kind of warm scent and i did like it but i feel like very rarely but there are some scents that smell better with like some soot in it. Um, this one is one of them. Uh, that kind of smokiness of the soot gives like a nice kind of like toasted nutty type of scent. All right, and then my last uh, single wick candle is this rose water and ivy and mahogany teakwood blend candle. To be honest, I don't really like it. Um, kind of smells like an old couple. But, 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 but. As you saw, I basically got almost every single blend candle. The only one I didn't have and the one I was kind of hoping I could find was a champagne toast one. But what? I got four out of the five, so I'm pretty happy. Especially I got a few duplicates of the other ones. I would have had two rose water and ivy and mahogany teakwood blend candles, um, but I gave one of them to Sierra. I also gave Sierra two of my other candles, but I don't remember which ones they were. I think one was like, I gave her a pumpkin spice latte one, and then I also gave her a, it was some like rose petal one. It was like, it was some rose petal one. I don't exactly remember the name. And lastly, my three wicks. Now, there weren't a lot of three wicks that I could choose from, but I did get three. So this one is chocolate and peppermint cream. I'm a sucker for Christmassy ones. Anything with peppermint in it, anything that smells like Christmas, love. Other one. Um, this one is a luminary blueberry pie one. I remember when this one got returned and I wasn't gonna think I was gonna buy it, but it's just like my favorite candle, one of my favorite candles. Blueberry maple pancakes without that like maple pancake part. It's a nice scent. Might give this to Vanessa if she wants it. We'll see. And then my last candle. Oh, my last candle, which I love, love, love that I got is this one. It is a hot cocoa and cream one in this packaging. I am convinced that Bath made like 100,000 of these ones. If you count the single wicks, I literally got them probably, what, 25 cents a piece. But yes, I'm so glad. I know it seems a, a little obsessive, which it probably is. Low key, I was kind of lacking in the single uh, wick department anyways. So it was nice to literally triple, if not quadruple, my single wick pile. So like I said, this was just MOS. Um, let me know if you do want to see my entire Bath & Body Works collection. I put entire because it literally changes at least once a week. But yeah, I've been wanting to make an entire Bath & Body Works collection video. I don't know how feasible it is if i'm being totally 100 percent honest so we'll see i would like to do it one day but i don't know when so if you enjoyed this video please remember to leave a like and i'll talk to you guys all again next time love you um i'm about to leave and go home